what you see in the left is a server and what you see in the right is me in my own server in Minecraft 1.20.4. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own server, how to join your own server and how to get your friends to join your own server in Minecraft 1.20.4. Let's get started with this tutorial. Step number one for making a server is clicking on the second link in the description. This will bring you to a written guide on how to actually make a server. So if you are someone who likes to read and look at the screenshots, well, this is the place for you. However, for most of us that are going to follow along the video, all you got to do is just scroll down until you see the download server button right here. Go ahead and click on that button and that is going to redirect you to the Minecraft official website. Once you're in the official website for Minecraft, all you got to do is download this Minecraft server 1.20.4.jar file, this little green file in here. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where to save the file, but for you, it's probably going to download automatically. Once you have that file downloaded, you could go ahead and drag and drop it into your desk. Now we have a server.jar file. What is next? Well, before we go ahead and install this server, I have to let you know that this is a server that will be hosted in your own computer using your computer resources and using your IP address for your friends to join. So if you want to create a server that doesn't put your computer at risk, you could always use the first link in the description to create a server with Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting will actually make the server for you and this server will be hosted online, meaning that your friends could join at any moment without you having to keep your computer on all the time. Also, Apex Hosting will give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description to create your first server and let's get back to the tutorial like i was saying earlier now we have the server.jar file and in theory we should be ready to start for the next step we will be using the jar files if any of you gets any trouble using a jar file i will leave this guide in the description on how to download and install java 17. java 17 is a software that runs the jar files and like i said if any of you has any issues that is probably because you have an outdated java i'll leave the guide in the description on how to download and install java it's actually quite simple all you gotta do is download a file and install it and after you install java you will also need to run a jar fix which is also very simple you download a file and you run it once and what the jar fix does is after you install java it links all the jar files to the newest installation of java so let's say that you try to open the server file it didn't work because you have an outdated java then you install the new one you try to open this and it didn't work again well you run the jar fix and it will fix all these jar files because it will link it to the new java i hope that wasn't too confusing i'll leave both of these guides in the description for any of you that is having trouble and now let's finally make the server first we want to create a folder that is just dedicated for the server now that we have the folder we're going to go ahead and drag and drop our server that jar file go ahead and open this folder and all you gotta do now is actually just double click the server and it will start extracting files in here once it has a bunch of files it's going to stop actually once a ula.txt file comes out so you can see there's a ula.txt file and now what you gotta do is double click on the ula.txt file and change where it says false to true. So all you gotta do is type T-R-U-E, true, file, save, close this text document, and now double click the server.jar file again. That is going to start running the server or finish extracting the files and then start running the server. So just give it a second. And as you can see, the server is now loading, is now preparing for the spawn area. And I'm gonna teach you something real quick. I'm gonna teach you how to change the RAM because many of you will like to create a server with more than the default amount of RAM that it gives you, right? So let's wait for the server to finish preparing and we're gonna stop the server. In order to stop a server, all you gotta do is type stop into the console in the command console right here and then press enter. So if you are looking to change the amount of RAM that your server has, what you gotta do in here is create a a new text document and then go ahead and open it and in this text document you're gonna paste a string of text that i'm gonna leave you in the description of this video and it's pretty much this string of text right here you could also find it in the download website for the server that we used earlier and you could also find it within our guide go ahead and copy this string of text right here just copy it and then go back to the text a document that we created and paste a string of text and before you close it or anything you're gonna change the name of where it says minecraft server 1.20.4 jar we're gonna change it to just server we're gonna delete the minecraft with the underscore part and we're gonna delete the 1.20.4 so it should look something like this server.jar that's all it gotta say now we're gonna change the amount of ram as you can see it has a thousand twenty four megabytes so this m stands for megabytes so xmx pretty much means the maximum amount of ram that the server will use and xms means the minimum amount of ram that the server will use so now we're going to change that number to actually 4096 well this is what i'm going to change it to the amount that you change it to depends on how much ram you have available on your computer since i have 64 gigabytes of ram i could give the server 4 gigabytes and my computer will still run fine and you only gotta change the maximum amount the minimum could stay as it is now that we have done that we could actually click on file click save as and now we're gonna type 
run that bat so just make sure it reads like that run that bat change the text document to all files so like the file type change it to all files and then click save once we click save we could actually close out from the text document and we'll should see the run that bat file in there go ahead and double click it and that is going to start running your Minecraft server within this command prompt in here. Just give it a second. And as you can see, the server is running in our own console that we just made. So this is our own console in here. It's pretty much the same one as the server.jar that we were using, but but except we created it. So now again, this is the same thing. If you want to stop the server, all you got to do is type a stop. If you want to OP someone, you could always type OP and then type the name of that person. Like in this case, um, it's Cuba, right? So I just made myself a server operator. So when I join my own server, I will be an operator. And now you might be wondering, okay, now I have a server. How do I have my friends join? And how do I join my own server? Well, first let's stop the server by typing stop into the command console. Let's go ahead and stop that. The server closes. Now let's go ahead and give ourselves permission to join our own server. You're gonna head over to your search bar down here and you're gonna type command prompt. The command prompt will show and then go ahead and open it. Once your command prompt is open, you're gonna type IP config, just like this IP config, right? You're going to type that and then you're going to press enter in the IP config. You're going to look for a line that says IP before address. It's pretty much this line right here. And you are going to copy this last number. Only the numbers you're going to copy. In this case, this is my number. This is your IP before address. Yours might be similar to mine. So once you have selected the number, just press control C and you can close out from the command prompt. Now head over to the folder where you have your server. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger and right click on the file that reads server properties. As you can see, we have server properties right here. Right click on that and click edit with notepad. I have notepad plus plus, but you probably have a regular notepad. That is okay. Just open it with some type of text reader. Once you're in here, you're going to look for a line that says server IP. In this case is the number 29, right? So the 29th line and in the 29th line on server IP, you're going to paste that IP before address. There's other things that you could change in here, like the name of your server. You could change the game mode of your server. You could change anything in here. Really, you could change all the settings of your server using the server property. But anyways, once you paste the IP before address in the server IP, you could actually save it. Just save the file and then close it. And now we could run the server again. And while the server is running, I'm going to open Minecraft. OK, so as we can see, our Minecraft game has opened and we have the server right by the side right here. So you guys don't get confused. I'm going to make the game a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to teach you how to join your own server. You're going to head over to where it says multiplayer and you're going to click add server where it says server name. You can name it whatever. I'm actually going to name it 1.20.4, not to get confused. And in the server address, again, we're going to paste that IPv4 address that we just copied, the one that we put in the server properties. Once we have the IPv4 address in there, we're going to click done and we should see our Minecraft server that we just added the 1.20.4 in here it's actually loading give it a second to load and once it's loaded as you can see it says how many people are in the server and it's pretty much ready to be joined you're gonna click on play and we're gonna join our world as you can see it showed in the console that i just joined and i also have x-ray on because i just made a video on that if you want to learn how to add x-ray to a minecraft server just watch that video next i went ahead and took the x-ray off so you guys wouldn't get confused on what was happening but yeah now we're pretty much in our server and like i said i'm already an operator i believe yep I'm already an operator, so I pretty much have access to anything. So I could go on creative on my server. And as you can see, I have admin permissions and that is pretty much how to join your own server. Now, in order for your friends to join, you will need to do a process called port forwarding. Lucky for you guys, I have done a video on how to port forward because port forward is a little bit more complicated than creating the server. So I made a video for that by itself and I'm going to leave that video up on the screen right now. Just go ahead and watch that video next and your friends will join you in no time. It's actually quite simple if you watch the video that I made. Also, remember that if you don't want to host the server in your own computer, you could always use the first link in the description to create a server with Apex hosting. Now go watch the video on how to port forward.